Dr. Paper Whisperer. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a model I just found a few minutes ago. It's called It's a Ghost. It's 3D mostly and everything. So, if you want, let's learn how to make it. So, let me just. Okay, so to start, I'm going to be using, for this ghost, I'm going to be using an 8 by 8 inch slash 20 by 28 inch square tissue foil, not homemade from origami shop. So you're gonna start white side up if you want the um if you want a um a white ghost and start color side up if you want a colored ghost. Now you're gonna start by folding in half but not fully you're just gonna make a pinch on whichever side you prefer. I'm gonna do it on the left side. So if you want to follow along easiest, do it on the left side. Then fold this edge up to that pinch and make another pinch. And I'll unfold. Now take the top right corner and fold it to the pinch we just made. And you guessed it make another pinch. Some, make sure your pinches are very strong. Now, what you're going to do is you are going to fold diagonally in half both directions. Some might do this first, but I prefer to do it afterwards because then um, it's easy, it is easier and the, the pieces don't get in the way and it doesn't kind of confuse you like with which way to rotate it. It's a pretty simple model, but I still not recommend it for beginners because it has some shaping in it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make a crease from this pinch, the last pinch, all the way across so that this corner goes on this crease. So we have that pinch. Make the corner land on the crease and make a full crease. Unfold. Now fold the along the um one sec. Fold along the middle crease. And the, by the way, this won't be exactly like this one. I'll make a few edits along the way. Now make the crease you just made a mountain fold from the white side. So make it valley fold on this side. And then turn over and fold this corner to this corner <sighs> now completely unfold so it's white side up and then Make a, make, fold this edge and this edge. I'm gonna call it an edge because it's sticking up. Fold this mountain fold and this mountain fold to the middle. Making another piece exactly in between them. Make it strong. going to do is you're going to turn it over no sorry you're going to keep it up like this and fold make a crease so that the crease aligns with this edge like this unfold and repeat on the other side. And complete it on board. Now you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six poor parts. What you're going to do is you're going to choose which child you want the head to be on. And then you're going to go, then what you're going to do is you are going to put that side nearest to you. But you want to make sure to side one of these two with the creases. Now, make a crease between this point and this point, this point and this point, and this point and this point. It may sound complicated, but you're basically going to make creases that are equal. To basically, just watch. 
it's hard to explain. See, I made the grease, it, full grease. Then I made the grease. And the last grease. By the way, as always, crease sharply and make it and try to make it accurate as you can. It'll really help you in the end. And I will warn you, there is a few times where this may rip, so you make sure to use a strong paper. Tissue foil is the first thing that I could get. And to be honest, awesome, compared to some of my other papers, it's not the most it's not the most strong. But it's the smallest of a strong paper, so it works. Anywho, you're gonna now um you're gonna fold one sec you're gonna make the mountain folds to the middle again let me think real quick i might have done something wrong let me check something real quick Uh, okay, so I forgot a few steps. What you're going to do is you're going to fold, not fully, you're going to fold this edge to the middle crease. And don't crease it all the way. Repeat on this side. Just kind of hold it down at, at the bottom like this. Crease about this much. And then... Make a crease similar to the ones you just did, which means the two points. This is gonna look like this. And complete and unfold again. Then you're this is a very small crease. So you want to make sure you don't rip it. You're gonna make a crease. So you see how this crease hits the diagonal crease. What you're gonna do? So you're gonna make a crease from that intersection point all the way across, so that the edge is aligned with the same edge. And make it strong. Strong really unusual. It's very important. Unfold and repeat on the corner on the edge next to it. Sorry, Mitchy. Now, you're going to keep those folded and make a rabbit ear with the two flaps. And fold it to one side. This is the new tip of the ghost's hood. Now, now we're going to fold the edges to the middle. And when you do that, before you fold the other edge, he's going to peel it. So that you basically you peel it, just kind of follow along. It's hard to explain again. Okay, we should that again. So you're basically gonna reverse the crease on this point, this crease, and then Settle it down and go along the, mi the middle crease. Now you're going to repeat on this side. So what you're going to do, you're going to push the point here. And basically create the white side. Like this. Basically reverse the crease while you're creating the reverse folds. Yeah, it's a lot of reverse. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm talking about. It sounds weird, honestly. 
and the head is done. That was simple collapse. And now what you're going to do is you're going to create a square base or a preliminary base with this square. You don't know how to do that. Um, you can probably watch. It's pretty simple. I'll just show you what you're going to do. So you're going to fold this, sorry, you're going to fold, fold this edge in half so that it hits, th until it hits this point, the middle point. And then, like that. And then, so you can fold the side along the existing crease. And you'll keep on the other side. But make sure that this, this line is sticking out, not inside. Not tucked in, and there were fold. And then, fold it down. Oops, sorry. I guess didn't really dampen, um, sorry, not dampen, darken the screen, but, anywho. Now, you are going to make a petal fold. But first, make sure the square base is accurate. Go in the area base. Mine obviously isn't, so I'm going to fix that. Good enough. Now, you're going to fold, making up this, the edges align with the middle, or a petal fold. Make sure it doesn't completely hit the middle, but it's close. That way it's easier to do one the next step. The next step. And on the other side. Then, put it on the other one. It's below it, so lift it up. Making a flap. Now what you're going to do is you are going to fold them as a reverse fold. And flatten it. These are the arms. Now, time to narrow down the head. So, there are a few ways we could do this. I prefer to um, use the, um, I prefer to do this. As I did in the Ring of Fire, kind of similar to the thing I did in the Ring of Fire Flicker. Takes a bit of time though. Right. This is my one of my edits. I couldn't do it last time. That's because I thought too. I didn't think easy enough. I thought outside the box too much. Which you should always think outside the box, but don't go too far away from your ideas. Paper from the whisperer. Now we're gonna actually we're almost done. Turn over. Um, and we're gonna make a crease. But actually, first, we're gonna go 
hold a value folder along this edge, or, sorry, that line and that line, but first, gotta make sure it's good. Oh, I forgot, you gotta make a reverse fold on the arms. Um, what you're gonna do is now you're gonna create the rabbit here. You're gonna make a crease along this line and this line. Don't fully create the rabbit here. Just crease it up to there really strong. Then reverse those creases on the other side. And you're just gonna just gonna fold it to the side. I prefer folding it to the left side when it's on the top front, the front, the top, whatever you want to call it. And then you fold it one. And you create one more rabbit ear to make it extra long. I guess it actually turned out being quite colored. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, not a big deal, as you see. Now, it's, well, I guess it's both colors. But if you want a cool looking ghost and you have a black paper, I'd recommend have it having it on what's, I don't know. Uh, I'd say a white, sorry, color set up. That way you have like a white ghost and like a cool blackness on the inside. It would look really creepy for Halloween. So now, what you're going to do, the final thing, is shaping, of course. This is gonna be a bit tricky for beginners. That's why I say if you're if you are like really new to where you got so far, congratulations. But I'd stop where you so far so where you so far where you are right now. So now if you chosen to do the shaping, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get something really thin and um something thin and um let's say I don't know, something thin and round like a pencil and well, I'm gonna so you're gonna take the tail and roll it up so that would look cool now a bit more 3d making what you're gonna do is you're gonna go inside And you're basically gonna poke the sides of the ghost. Then you're basically gonna shape the arms a bit. Then we're just going to shape the head a bit. Oops, my mirror's turning off again, sorry. And our ghost, oops, sorry, ghost is done. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Have a good day.